Now, a broken view is ideal for this, uh, for a view like this one here, a, a shaft. Uh, as you can see, it's barely fitting in my drawing, and if I want to add additional views, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to run out of room. So, breaking the view becomes very handy here. Uh, I just come in here for the uh, uh, break view. Okay, um, when I click it. It immediately asks me where's the view that I want to reference. Just click on the view, and the moment I click on the view, you get the break lines. Okay, place the break lines anywhere you want. So, for instance, here's one break. I just clicked it. The moment you the moment you click it, you get another one. Define how much of a break you want. The moment you click that one, notice here's the break. Okay, so the break gap is a property that, uh, that can be defined in your drawing options. Okay, so you can go back to your options button up here and open the document properties and you will see the gap definition there. Now when you create a break, you could, you could do multiple breaks as a matter of fact. Notice how the icon is still appearing on the screen right now. If I can place another one, I just clicked, here's another break, and here's another break. I just broke the shaft in three different places. Uh, you could do, uh, as you can see from the properties on the side here, you could do uh, vertical breaks, horizontal breaks. Here's adjusting the gap size locally versus globally. Uh, earlier I was pointing up to the options. I told you that that's kind of a uh, global adjustment. And you can change the break line styles from straight cuts to curve to zigzags. You know, so it's all uh, up to you as far as how you want uh, things to appear there. 